Life can often feel like an emotional roller coaster, with unexpected events triggering feelings from anxiety to anger. How can you gain more control over this turbulent inner world? Controlling your emotions and cultivating inner resilience is no easy task. Life brings unpredictable changes that can easily throw you off balance. How do we gain clarity and tranquility amidst the turbulence? The ancient philosophy of Stoicism provides a guiding light. Stoics were masters of managing emotional reactions and navigating adversity with wisdom. By learning their secrets and practicing seven powerful Stoic lessons, you, too, can develop greater mastery over your feelings and responses. By implementing the following techniques you will be well equipped to ride out life's ups and downs. Continue reading to learn the details of these insightful stoic principles for emotional regulation and tranquility. The stoic philosophers provide timeless guidance. By following the following seven fundamental stoic principles, you can develop equanimity and wisdom. Understand what's in your control. Reflect before reacting. Practice this passion. Ask yourself, will this matter in five years? Keep a stoic journal. See obstacles as opportunities. Practice gratitude. 1. Understand what's in your control. Some things are in our control and others not. Epictetus. This dichotomy of control is central to Stoic philosophy. The Stoics recognize that while there are many external events we cannot influence, our judgments and reactions remain within our power. For instance, you cannot control whether it rains on a planned picnic. But you can manage your response, choosing to accept the change in plans with grace rather than frustration. Could you take a moment to reflect on a recent disappointment? Could it have felt different by shifting your perspective? What aspects were actually within your control? Developing this discernment takes practice but frees you from wasting energy on futile expectations. We gain inner resilience by focusing only on what we can control, our values, priorities, and self-discipline. External factors may knock us off balance temporarily, but we can regain equilibrium through clear intention. Just like a sailor can't command the winds but can adjust the sails, you, too, can navigate life's unpredictable currents through self-mastery. 2. Reflect before reacting. Anger is temporary madness. Seneca. In a fast-paced digital era, taking time for deep reflection has become more rare. Yet, a conscious pause before reacting can diffuse many regrettable moments. The next time you feel a flash of anger or hurt by a comment, resist the urge to fire back. Instead, could you take a few breaths and reflect? What underlying beliefs or past experiences may be shaping your emotional response? Do you know if the intention was malicious? 5 Habits to Give Up If You Want To Play 
Unmute. Remaining time 325. False screen. 5 habits to give up if you want to be successful. This thoughtfulness fosters empathy and understanding on both sides. It also reveals our patterns, those reactive pitfalls we continuously step into. That self-knowledge allows us to catch ourselves next time and respond consciously rather than impulsively. We start responding from our values rather than our vulnerabilities. So remember to press pause. Sleep on a heated argument before crafting a reply. Take a walk around the block to gain perspective. Please write down your turbulent emotions to process them. Widen the space between stimulus and response. 3. Practice dispassion. Objective judgment, now, at this very moment. Unselfish action, now, at this very moment. Willing acceptance, now, at this very moment, of all external events. That's all you need. Marcus Aurelius At first glance, practicing thus passion may seem cold and detached. It evokes images of a stoic philosopher observing tragedy without batting an eye. However, true dispassion is not indifference. Instead, it provides a steady calm to engage fully with life. Imagine you're watching a suspenseful movie. You may feel energized or afraid at different moments, but a part of you remains grounded in the knowledge that it's simulated entertainment. This ability to experience the emotion while maintaining distance is critical. When faced with real-life frustrations, pause and get into observer mode. Notice the chain reaction as anger arises in response to traffic. See how past resentment colors a current interaction. Watch the mind generate catastrophizing scenarios about the future. There is incredible power in noticing your experience from this balcony view. It allows you to gain needed perspective. The situation may require action, you may still need to communicate your hurt or address the problem. But by cultivating this passion, you can do so in a thoughtful manner true to your values. 4. Ask yourself, will this matter in 5 years? Let us prepare our minds as if we come to the very end of life. Seneca On any given day, our minds may buzz with a dozen concerns, from a perceived mistake at work to an argument with a family member. In the heat of frustration, each can feel monumental, as if our reputation or relationship hangs in the balance. And yet, zooming out to view life on a broader timescale often reveals how fleeting such worries are. As Seneca notes, preparing our minds as if death could arrive at any moment puts trivialities into perspective. So the next time you find yourself preoccupied and anxious over a problem, pause and take a mental leap into the future. Will this issue still feel significant in a year? How about in five? For most day-to-day -day worries, the answer will be a grounding revelation.
Of course, that is not to diminish genuine concerns that have lasting impacts. But this simple shift in vantage point helps prioritize where to spend your mental energy. It allows us to let go of transient frustrations and invest more deeply in the relationships, passions, and values that give our lives meaning. 5. Keep a Stoic Journal The Philosopher's School, Ye Men, is a surgery. You ought not to go out of it with pleasure but pain. For you are not in sound health when you enter. Epictetus Journaling was a common practice among the Stoics, serving as a tool for self-analysis and implementing wise principles. Marcus Aurelius carried his journal everywhere to capture insights and strengthen his character. We, too, can benefit from this ritual of daily reflection. Each night, take a few minutes to record the day. What moments of joy arose? What triggered irritation? How did you respond, and do you wish you had reacted differently? Over time, patterns will emerge. You may notice certain people consistently bring out your worst reactive tendencies. Or that interrupting work to walk outside boosts your mood and focus. Use these insights to strengthen weak spots and build on strengths. The journal becomes a log of progress. Because putting our flaws down in writing makes them more difficult to ignore, this practice increases self-accountability. It clarifies where we focus our energy to become the best version of ourselves. 6. See obstacles as opportunities. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius Challenges are an inevitable part of life. A stoic mindset recognizes that within every obstacle lies an opportunity for growth if only we're willing to shift our perspective. Suppose your dream job falls through after multiple rounds of interviews. In the throes of disappointment, the easy reaction is discouragement and bitterness. I must not have been good enough. I knew I couldn't do it. But with time, you realize this redirect provided valuable skills that qualify you for an even better position. Or an injury prevents you from your regular athletic training. Instead of frustration, you view it as a chance to diversify your exercise routine and strengthen neglected muscles. The impediment advances action in unexpected ways. Each downfall contains the seeds of renewal. Practicing this resilience takes courage. However, adopting a stoic mindset allows temporary setbacks to expand our potential further. Where in your life could a shift in perspective transform an obstacle into an opportunity? 7. Practice Gratitude True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future. Seneca Gratitude may seem like a warm sentiment reserved for thanksgiving meals. 
However, deliberately cultivating this mindset every day provides profound benefits. The Stoics recognized that appreciating life's gifts protects us from constantly seeking more while overlooking the present abundance. So, instead of moving through each day on autopilot, make gratitude a focal point. List three things you're grateful for and reflect on in the morning and evening. Thank a stranger who holds the door for you. Savor a walk outside with full attention. Share genuine expressions of gratitude with loved ones. This emphasis on the present over the uncertain future fosters excellent peace of mind. Even when external circumstances shake us, gratitude's quiet magic smooths the ride. It helps us appreciate each breath, every sensory detail, and the faces passing by on the street that we'll never see again. Soon, this gains momentum until gratitude becomes a practice and a worldview. Key Takeaways Recognize the difference between what you can and cannot control. Focus your energy on the former. Resist reactive habits by pausing to reflect before responding. Find an equilibrium between attachment and detachment to gain wisdom. Adopt a long-term perspective to prioritize what truly matters. Keep a daily journal to foster self-awareness and positive changes. View challenges as opportunities for growth and development. Express gratitude regularly to appreciate the present moment. Conclusion the ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy provides a framework for building emotional resilience, clarity, and tranquility. By differentiating between external and internal control, responding consciously, finding a balance between logic and passions, keeping the big picture in mind, analyzing our days, flexibly adapting to adversity, and taking time to appreciate life's gifts, we can traverse the terrain of existence with more emotional stability. Implementing even a few timeless principles can help us engage in the world as our best selves. Cultivating presence, self-awareness, and resilience promised by these seven stoic approaches requires commitment. But with regular practice, you will navigate life's journey with much more significant serenity. These ancient lessons still speak to us in the 21st century with wisdom and direction.